Republicans breathing a sigh of relief after narrowly winning a special congressional election in Arizona yesterday. Debbie Lesko claimed victory in the district Donald Trump easily carried by 21 points. However, Lesko won the race by only five points. I'm joined now by Bruce Melman, a former assistant secretary of commerce for technology policy and somebody I turn to to talk to me about putting this in context. So Debbie Lesko in the previous segment, she's right. A win is a win. Um, and she won by over five points. As would in any other sort of close race, that would be considered remarkable. But the, do the Republicans have a reason to be a little worried? I think Republicans have a reason to be a lot worried. As a Republican, I'm a lot worried. Uh, Lesko deserves credit for winning, but she didn't beat the spread. In the last nine special elections, if you compare the margin of victory to the expected based upon uh, mm -hmm. the partisan nature of the districts, we've underperformed the spread by an average of 17. Actually, we have a, I think we have something from David Wasserman who showed that the number of races where uh, these special elections where Democrats have overperformed, um, if you can look there, um, we have a tweet from him that he says that you really need an average of overperformance of 4%. And if you look at across all those races, they're all um, above four, sometimes well above four. Uh, yes, it's, uh, it is one of the many dead canaries at this point. A <laughs> dead canary. Uh, I, you have a graphic that you put together. It's, you call it the blue wave. And what I wondered is, you know, there's speculation today. Axios led with it this morning. And I couldn't tell if it was just a scare tactic. Do, this, do the Republican senators have any reason to be worried? Well, you always have a reason to be worried if you're up for re-election, and if your party holds the White House, you have a significant reason to be worried. That said, as the, uh, as the graphic shows, the map is extraordinarily favorable to Republicans. There are only nine Republican states that are in play, or th that are up this cycle, and only one of them, Nevada, was won by Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. By contrast, Democrats are defending 26, 10 of which went for President Trump. Mm -hmm. Now, what Josh Croshar, uh, uh, who we all know from National Journal, Hotline, uh, Josh. Hotline Josh, you can follow him on Twitter, he writes a column twice a week. This was great. He said that Democrats will soon find out that to win elections in the many competitive GOP-leaning states and districts across the country, message matters a lot more than money and sounding like a card-carrying member of the anti-Trump resistance outside the liberal coast. It isn't a smart strategy. Last week, we had Meredith Kelly from the DCCC here. She's a communications director. And she wanted to highlight five candidates. And I look at four of the five, and they're veterans. They're moderate Democrats. These are people that are not actually the progressive wing of the party. No, you're exactly right. And uh, a huge challenge the Democrats face as they go through a civil war is the energy and a lot of the money is on the progressive left, the Bernie Sanders, the, the uh, Elizabeth Warren side of the party. But if you're going to win in North Dakota, if you're going to win in Indiana, you need folks who say they'll work with the president that those states voted for. Do you think that, Repub that Democrats or Republicans understand that the candidates need to run in their district, localize the race, and not try to be everything to all people when it comes to national politics? You know, some seem to get that and some don't. Usually what you find is the people who, who miss the message and think they're running for national office lose. Mm -hmm. And the folks who get, and Rob Portman's a great example in 2016, yes. he ran the best race, I think, in the Senate focused entirely on the issues that mattered to Ohio and Ohio voter issues from opioids to trade, and he won handily yeah. because he ran a smart race. All right. Well, Bruce Melman, it's always a pleasure to have you, especially in studio.